We're in the heart of Kitasando. It's a very luxurious and quiet neighborhood right between Harajuku and Shinjuku. And right beside me is the most expensive property we've ever shown on Tokyo Portfolio. It's a unit inside the Kita, which is designed by Kengo Kuma and is right here. So before we go in, let's go see the area. Kitasando isn't the name most non-Tokyoites know of, but this neighborhood is one of the hottest places to live for artistic and creative types. As its name suggests, it marks the northern road to Meiji Shrine, and being walking distance to Harajuku, Shinjuku, and Ziyogi Park, it's surprisingly easy to get here. It's home to some of Tokyo's best galleries and creative agencies, as well as the Olympic Stadium, another Kengo Kuma design project. Though better known for ultra-high-end and Michelin-star rated restaurants, it has some more casual options too, and it even has Kippy's Cocoa Cream, a vegan ice cream store that used to be in Los Angeles. And what would a neighborhood be without a good ramen shop? Go to Hope Ken to satiate your 2am noodle cravings. With that, let's get back to the property. And now we're inside, and I'm really excited to show you this place. But first, I want to show you this right over here. So this is a painting done by Shingo Francis. He's an American-Japanese artist based out of LA. And there's a couple more of his pieces in this uh, property, so we'll go see a couple more later. But right in front of this absolutely magnificent painting, you can see that this is your, well, your entrance, right? It's your grand entrance to welcome your guests into your place and just have a little lounge space right here. But right behind me in the windows, you can see it has all these lattices on them. They're called louves, and it's a very common hallmark in uh, Kengo Kuma's designs. And he does this so that you have good privacy and also a lot of natural light coming in. So it also looks really nice from the outside as well. But let's go take a look at where the kitchen is. So the architect of this place wanted to kind of keep the kitchen invisible, but also have these lattices so you can see in and out, at least when you're in the kitchen. And I just love what he's done with this. Unlike the outside, these are made of wood. The outside lattices are all made of metal, just to uh, prevent, you know, deterioration. But as you can see right here, you have your absolutely magnificent kitchen, complete with a uh, quartz countertop and also a Miele three burner induction heat stove, which I just love, very easy to clean. And of course, you have your Miele full-size dishwasher right over here, which you'll definitely need when you're having all your friends come over here. But a couple more hidden things about this place, come on over. You can see you have these beautiful cabinets over here, but oh no, they're not cabinets. No, no, no. These are all refrigerators and freezers. And you don't really get built-in fridges like this in Japan, and in fact, most places don't come with a fridge at all, so having this is a rarity, and I just love how it blends in perfectly with the cabinets over here. And there's even one more thing to show in the kitchen. You can see right here, you don't have one oven, you have two, right? I always love having two ovens so that you can do one turkey at one temperature and then you can do a chicken at a different temperature. I don't know, or cookies or something like that. So you can have your desserts and your main be done more or less at the same time. And of course, these are top of the line miles. And right below the ovens, you can see these, which kind of look like ovens. Nope, they're not ovens. They are wine cellars. Yes, these are two wine fridges right here that you can set one maybe for white wine, one for red, or one for champagne, one for red, something like that. It's great to have, again, when you're going to be having so many people in your beautiful living room and dining room. One other thing about this place that I want to show you is this remote control. And uh, as you can see, if you just press this button right here, the curtains start to close all by themselves. You definitely need to have this because this is a massive room with really long curtains. So on that note, let's go see the first bedroom. Actually, before we see the bedroom, there's one thing I didn't mention. This property has a sizable parking garage you can only access with a car elevator. Yes, a car elevator. That's all I wanted to say. Let's see the bedroom now. So this whole place is about 300 square meters or about 3,200 square feet. And of that 25 square meters, about 300 square feet is in this bedroom right here. They don't actually have it outfitted as a bedroom right now, but you could use this as a bedroom or just like a little lounge space like they've done with this. Again, very high ceilings in a 
place that you don't really get high ceilings too often. But my favorite part about this, and in fact all the bedrooms, is this wallpaper right over here. This wallpaper is also designed by Ken Gokuma himself, and if you look really closely you can see a little texture in here. Uh, that's because this is made of washi, which is a traditional Japanese form of paper made by the inside of bark of certain kinds of trees. And Kengo Kuma, the designer, wanted to bring in a lot of Japanese influence and did so especially with this wallpaper which covers the walls and the ceilings to all the bedrooms. And if you look over here, you can see it's not just the wallpaper that has the washi in it. This right here, which is the window that separates the bathroom from the bedroom, also has washi inside of it. So that allows you to have a little bit more privacy and just see kind of the shadows of what people are doing behind the curtain and I just love that. But if you come in over here you can see you have a grand entrance. This isn't even the bathroom, this is the walk-in closet that you use to get to the bathroom. Yes, this is just a closet. It just baffles me. I absolutely love this place. But you can come over here and see the bathroom itself. It's pretty standard fare but at the same time very tastefully done. Everything in here is either Kohler or Toto which we'll get to in a second. But you have this very spacious dual vanity set up in front of you as you can see. And while this isn't actually a medicine cabinet, well you have plenty of storage below that right over here under each sink basin. But once you're done washing up you can just go ahead and hop into the warm bath which is right over here. Again, Kohler, but this is the highest end model that they have and quite spacious if I do say so myself. You could either do it in the western way of just going directly into the bath or you could go the Japanese route and take a shower beforehand. Of course, Kohler branded rain shower right up here or if you want to use the handheld you can with this guy as well. So that's the bath area of this bathroom. Let's go see the toilet, which is right over here. And as you can see, this is a top of the line Toto Japanese toilet, complete with the bum washer and the warm seats and all that. And my favorite part, of course, the automatically opening seat. So let's go see the rest of it. So stepping out of that bedroom over there, we are done with the top floor of this beautiful apartment. Now we're going to go downstairs to the lower floor which has the second living room and the two other bedrooms and bathrooms in here as well. But before we get down there I want to show you this right over here. You can see you have these beautiful stacked rock walls. This is called an Ishigaki. It's an old way of doing things in Japan just to kind of make it more castle-like, right? And with that castle analogy, right next to me you have a beautiful light well as well. At least that's what you would normally call it. Here let's keep with the whole castle metaphor and call this a moat because this connects the outside and the inside just like a moat does and it even has a bridge, like a drawbridge that connects the entrance of the building to the outside as well. But from this angle you can see two things. First off you have of course these beautifully tall. This is a single pane of glass. This measures 5.7 meters high. That's about 18 and a half feet. Having ceilings like this in Japan is pretty much unheard of and having it very open like this kind of the same thing. But one other thing you can see right over here is these curtains which I showed you opening and closing automatically earlier. They come with the place and these are made out of silk with washi. Kind of like the wallpaper in the other rooms were as well. But let's just take a little step over here and see this. Your second living room or whatever you want to use it as. I would use it as what they did which is your TV room slash just kind of chill room. Maybe you have your public area upstairs when you have friends over but if it's just you and the family and you want to just have a little night to yourselves you just lay on the couch over here and see what's on Netflix or of course Tokyo Portfolio so be sure to subscribe so you can watch it on this TV over here. So from this angle you can see the underbelly of the staircase and as you can see it's basically one big steel girder and that's all it is really. It's just connected to it uh, like that and that gives it a very free and light look that you really can't get in other types of stairs. But let's just see one other thing over here. So we didn't really talk that much about closets. Yes, we mentioned the one upstairs. But as you can see over here, 
you have, just in this lower living room, a ton of storage space lining up the entire wall over here. And it's great to have this kind of stuff. So say you're like me and you have a lot of books and maybe you want to change out which ones you're displaying based on the season. So you can put the ones that make sense to have out right over there and the ones that you want to hide for later in that or do whatever you want in there. Put your skis, doesn't really matter. What really matters is that there are three bedrooms and we haven't seen the other two. So let's go see the second one which is right here. And as you can see, it's very similar to the first bedroom that we just saw, again, with the nicely carpeted floors and the Kengokuma Designs washi wallpaper over there and another beautifully painted painting by Shingo Francis. But there is one thing in here that I didn't really mention up until now, which is the furniture. So all the furniture in this apartment, not just this bedroom, is designed and produced by B&B Italia. And while it's not included in the total price of the apartment, if you ask, they can arrange to sell all of this stuff to you as well. So you can have this exact bed, that exact couch, that exact lamp, whatever you'd like in the apartment from day one. But one thing I like about this place is even though it's just a bedroom, you still get a very nice view. It almost has a zen rock garden feel to it. Again, because the bottom of this uh, lights well, just gives you a lot of natural light as well. And one other thing, this is not a feature in most places in Japan. This is why I have to say this. You have this over here, yes central heating. This is the first property on the channel that has ever actually had central heating and it's amazing to me that nobody else has it. But right over here, of course, closing and opening those curtains is a breeze with this guy as well, just like upstairs. And I said that this would be a good kids room for a reason. The closet is the smallest of the three, but it is still plenty of space in my opinion. And just like the first one we saw, you just come over here and you have your bathroom, same deal. But with this one, you only have a single vanity. Again, that's okay because this will probably be the kid's room. So let's go see the last bedroom. But before we go to the last bedroom, I just wanted to walk you down this little hallway over here. And at the end of it, you can see you have this, which is shoe storage, actually. But why would you have shoe storage on this floor as well as the top floor? Well, the reason is you actually have a second entrance right down here. So say if you have a delivery coming in or say you have a cleaner coming in or something, uh, they can come in through this entrance, take off their shoes right over there and then have everything delivered from this floor. Now let's really see the last bedroom. You guys have been waiting for it. This is it, the last bedroom of this beautiful apartment. As you can see, it is massive. This place is 35 square meters or just about 380 square feet. And just to put that into perspective, a large living room in Japan is about the same size as this. No, if you have the average size apartment or house in Tokyo, it's gonna be just double the size of this. This is one room and this is all for you. And again, you have a, looks like a super king. You have a gigantic bed right over here, which connects right over to your ensuite. This is the last ensuite, and it's a very similar one to the other ones that we've seen. You walk in, you have your closet first, you have your bathroom, your toilet over there, and your actual bathing area, complete with the dual vanity setup right behind you. But my favorite part of the last bedroom here is not the bathroom so much, but the amount of space that you have in the bedroom, which allows you to put things in there like this. That's right, your own little private office. And I think it's very convenient to have this right next to your bed because, well, sometimes you just want to go do some work right before bed or something like that. But let's just do a little recap of this place. It's just about 300 square meters or 3,200 square feet. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath designed by Kengo Kuma, one of the best architects in Japan's history. And also sitting in the middle of Kitasando, one of the nicest high-end areas and quietest of Tokyo. So how much is it? This place is being sold by an international developer, so the price may differ depending on when you see this. Check in the description for the most updated price. And if you want to learn more about this property, you can contact us in the link in the description below. Now be sure to subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.